It is no secret this year has been extreme when it comes to the spread of viruses like the flu, RSV, COVID, and several others. Kids have been as hit especially hard, and among the many symptoms of a viral infection, one could be a rash. But how do you determine what's causing the rash and how dangerous it might be? Courtney Friedman headed to University Hospital to find out. The two most common viral rashes are from the adenovirus and rhinovirus. They look kind of like a patchy sunburn all over their bodies. These are just very common viruses that all children get and some adults during this time of year. Dr. Dina Tom is a pediatric specialist with University Hospital and UT Health San Antonio. She says though it's not as common, RSV, flu and COVID can cause that same type of typical blotchy rash. COVID is a different beast altogether. Then it can also cause some, you know, things like COVID toes, COVID fingers, um, COVID has been known to cause little blood clots and sometimes those can make some scary looking rashes. It's always best to get a COVID rash checked out. COVID is new for us pediatricians. We're all still trying to figure out what's normal and what's not normal. There is one virus that causes a very specific identifiable rash. It's a virus called Coxsackie and it can cause symptoms of basically little ulcers. It's commonly known as hand, foot, mouth because that's where the ulcers form. Ulcers in the back of their mouth, on the hands, the palms, and the soles of the feet, which is rare for most viruses. It sounds and looks scary, but Dr. Tom says it's very common for most kids to get it by age two, typically from daycare or school. It's self-resolving. There's no, doesn't need antibiotics. That's generally the case for most viral rashes, which shouldn't last longer than a week. If it keeps spreading or doesn't go away, that's when you should see a doctor. There's also a very rare type of situation, a rash that's created by an allergic reaction to amoxicillin or other types of antibiotics. If your child's rash hasn't gone away and they've taken antibiotics, make sure you head to a doctor. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.